So this is just a quick tutorial on how to use my Fiasco mod on Tabletop Simulator. You can see that I have a um, bunch of playsets already loaded on here. You can use uh, the number three on your keyboard to look at the score. If you don't know what they are, you can read a little bit about it. Um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and chosen the Gangster London playset. I've copied it and pasted it over here. Um, let me just do this last one and um, whoops there we go move this over here and just lock it in air and then on your keyboard you can change the pages so I'm gonna do four and five six and oops six and seven eight and nine nine and then here, 10 and 11. And I just hit 1, 0 and 1, 1 in quick succession to get 10 and 11. And you can see that we have our relationships, our needs, objects, and locations down here. Everyone's going to take their dice, toss them into this big green thing here. Oops, not that. Dice. Thank you. And do that. Bam, bam, bam. Oops, that guy's going to fall out. Uh -huh. And we'll toss these dice in there too. Yeah. So you'll see this uh, tool will count and give you your total of dice. you got three number ones, two number twos. When you take them out, say you spend that three, it'll reduce it over here on the side. So you know what you're having to work, you have to work with. Um, so you're going to fill out your relationships, needs, and so forth on these cards here. You just type, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you don't like using these uh, fancy cards, we have some of the old ones over here that you can replace them with. And um, this here is just a small uh, version of the tilt in the aftermath. And you can see on it, I have it set as state. So state 2 is the tilt, state 3 is the aftermath. Here's what state two will look like, and here's what state three will look like. One will bring it back to that small tile so it's not in your way. How I like to do the voting is whose ever turn it is, they're going to go ahead and place their pawn on top of the timer. Now the timer is only used if the um, person who's doing the scene and everyone hasn't voted. They have no idea w w what direction it should go in because um, I find that people get wrapped up in the scene and they forget to vote. Um, so you can vote by saying a positive outcome or a negative outcome. And um, if this person is uh, still doesn't know where to take the scene, you know, not everyone's voted, um, you can just start the 30 second timer by clicking on it. Um, that doesn't limit the scene by 30 seconds, it's just a visual prompt to get everyone to vote. And um, that's Fiasco on Tabletop Simulator. I hope you enjoy my mod. If you think of any improvements, things you'd like to see, feel free to drop me a line.